everyone, this is Shauna Noel and I am super excited to be sharing this next month's kit with you and we are featuring my friend Meg Dirksen and she is um, someone that you might recognize online. She does the Whatever Craft House, her blog is whatever.com. Just in general, she is a huge source of inspiration. I completely blame her for my obsession with vintage globes and kind of all things vintage schoolhouse related which you will find all over my house so I am blaming that solely on her and um, she needs to take responsibility that's all there is to it but honestly you guys she just has a heart for God that I wanted to highlight and share and work through with you a lot of times we fe feature artists that I personally just pick out of selfish reasons <laughs> so I am super inspired by them I want to work with a kit that they wrote and that they helped us design and I love that about this kit is I think it just screams Meg and um, the words in her devotional are something I'm really looking forward to her kit this month is a little different than maybe some others because I feel like this one you could really kind of get a rhythm down and a prompt system down and work through that in a really fun way. Um, okay, let's open it up. So when you open it up, you're gonna see this little letter from me and I'll let you read that when you get it. And then on the back, you have, um, don't just let this sit in there because you can always take this card and put it either in your planner or your Bible. I lately have been loving connecting my Bible journaling with my faith planner, my Illustrated Faith Planner, which you can find in the Dayspring store, and using this sticker in there as well. Um, so I'm always kind of thinking about how I'm going to put that in there, and then also about the Bible journaling process. Kind of helped me stay on track a little bit, so it's good. Then you get this adorable little pouch of fun just fun and on top you'll see this cute little paper clip and this is perfect for sticking your Bible in your Bible on top as you work through the kit just a little visual reminder of what you're working on and again this little sticker I've seen a lot of people use these in different ways um, some people are putting them at the front of their Bible so they know which of the kits that they have worked through in that Bible I'm using mine in my planner so I can stay focused that week on the kit and all that sort of fun stuff then in here let's open it up We have some little devotional cards, and I love these. So Meg is kind of famous for painting and uh, making her house super cute, and so I thought it'd be fun to have our devotional cards match paint chips this month. And um, the people over at Dayspring did an awesome job with these. They're so stinking cute. Um, and at the top they have a word and then a Bible verse, so you could either decorate these or leave them as, as they are. And on the back, they have these little prompts which are amazing, I love them. I want to have like a whole sticky notepad of these. So cute. This month we get blue. So many have, you, have been asking for a blue um, ink pad and so I'm really excited for this one. I think it'll be a great color and I can't t wait to see how you use it. Um, later once we open the stamps, I'll test it with my sample pack, but this is just a, such a pretty blue. It matches the kit very well, and I'm just so excited to see that. Yay! Natalie will be excited too, because she can make a whole color chart with those. And then one of my favorite items is always the washi tape, so let's open this bad boy up. We of course had to do rainbow for Meg. She loves all things in rainbow order, and so we thought it'd be so much fun to have rainbow washi. And I think, I always like to have one thing that I use on every layout throughout the kit so that they all kind of are cohesive. And I think that might be the washi for me this time. Might be just a little strip of washi of that rainbow at the top just to signify um, which kit I'm going through and they'll just be really simple. I'm also really obsessed with these stamps. So I want to be perfectly honest with you guys. When Meg first said she wanted emoji stamps, I was like, ah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, we could do it because you're awesome. But I wasn't so excited about them. I think emojis are kind of overdone in a lot of ways. But then we were able to do these super, super cute ones. And I was like, yes, all day long. Those are adorable. And then these ones, again, are really full of 
usable stamps, as well as some amazing prompts that will really get you guys thinking. So I love like the he gives, you can color that in. Grace and love, we can use that a gazillion times. This little flag stamp, you can stamp it in one color and then journal on top of it or put stickers on top of it or even do this in like a yellow and then stamp the grace in a darker color and layer them up. But there's just so many, so many ideas. And then I love anything that kind of points down. I always imagine using that on top of journaling. So if I'm doing a bunch of journaling, um, I like to have something to kind of top it off with. That works really well there as well as this cute little heart speech bubble. And then the My Father Tells Me speech bubble, I love this. I think anything that we can kind of use to talk about what we're hearing through Christ or what we're reading the Bible and what God's telling in our life I think is awesome. And then same with this Through Christ I Am. So each day in the devotional, Meg talks about different ways we are, or different things we are through Christ. And this would just be a beautiful and easy way to document that. I have hope. A little heart bubble just again like if you're writing down a verse or you want to remember a verse you could just stamp that down write the verse in there something you love or really simply something that you love um, again with that pray uh, prompt you could just write a little simple prayer like even if I'm just writing moving I could just write that in there and I know the rest of it just kind of a visual reminder and then hashtag preach because hashtag preach right I've been using that a lot lately so I wanted to include that as well and then this cute little light bulb this is in some of our die cuts is a similar light bulb and I love this little light bulb um, I doodled it a while ago and I just thought it went well with Meg some of Meg's things and that is the stamp set I hope you guys are excited I know when Elaine came to the studio and she saw a little sneak peek early she's like all these are super usable. So I was excited about that. And then don't forget when you open up this little stamp backer, dun, da, da, you get the little profile on Meg right here, which explains, it's just a letter from her and I love having these in here because it just explains the heart behind them. Some little tabs and these work well with the We Are Memory Keepers tab punch, but you can just cut them out as well. A whole bunch of little banners. A thankful and grateful journaling spot. These are killing me, these little buntings. Those little faces are so cute. And then a little tag, which you can cut out. I didn't have a whole punch with me, so this is not done super well, but you can cut out and put a little thread on top, kind of make it more interactive. But I want to make sure to include an earth symbol of some sort because when I think of Meg, I think of what? globes and so we had to have that in there for sure and then this little gratitude journaling card as well I thought you could wash you tape the top and then use the back spot as journaling then here we have a whole bunch of prompts again this this one's really full of prompts and I think it's gonna make us think in a different way it's almost like a Lister's kit with Cory List by Faith combined with a traditional devotional where it just has a lot of like thought provoking prompts, which I really like that. Um, so this one says, Through Christ I have confidence in, and then it has drilling spot and then a little spot for what verse you re are referring to or wanting to look back upon. Through Christ I have strength for, through Christ I have gratitude for, through fr Christ I have forgiveness for and then a promise and hope label. And then a similar thing to what's on the covers on the back, which I always love having extra pieces of that because that's really what I think of when I think of this kit. So just gorgeous. So much fun. Lots of goodies. And then last but not least, really the heart of this kit belongs right in here. This is where Meg poured her heart and soul into. This is what was so important and different about the illustrated faith kits is these letters from the artist to you guys devotionals and really us as a team working through whatever the topic may be together and so that's one thing i want to do this month is i thought hey i'm moving this month it'd be the perfect month to commit to doing more videos with the kids <laughs> Oh wait, no, that'd be the worst. <laughs> but I really want to work through this kit a little bit more personally with you guys. And so I plan on um, doing some more videos and explaining that process for myself. And I would love to have you join me. So make sure if you are planning on picking up the kit to use the affiliate link below. That is um, 
just a way to help support these videos and that sort of thing. It helps we get a small percentage of those sales, anything that you purchase through our direct links. Instead of going directly to Dayspring, you can just use those and support us. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. So let's open it up. And I love how she just makes it really simple. So she talks about through Christ I have confidence, through Christ I have protection. But then she also talks about in detail how she reflects on that personally, as well as gives you, on average, I would say five verses. I mean, more probably, I think about six on average, verses for each day you guys. So if one verse isn't necessarily talking to you, you can just jump right into the next one. Or if you want to do um, confidence for like a couple days, then you could do a couple verses or morning and night, like that sort of thing. But don't overcomplicate it. Like just do what works for you. Um, because I know sometimes you struggle to get through 14 days of devotional, but I really want this to be a joyful experience for you. And so um, just keep it keep it there. So I love how Meg asks, asks very thought provoking questions, but then leaves lots of space for journaling in here before you bring it over to your Bible. So I'm super excited for this kit and I cannot wait to jump in. I think I'm going to start tomorrow. So grab your kit today. Um, also all the new Illustrate Faith and Bella Boulevard and Spring goodies landed. So that means like Christmas items are in Bright and Brave collection and um, the Homespun alphabets. I mean, there's like amazing amounts of stuff in the shop and don't forget to use if ships free i f s h i p s f r e e in that affiliate link once you're logged in go ahead and use that code for free shipping um but make sure to pick up all your goodies and don't be afraid to grab christmas items now i mean i already have so might as well um and i just cannot wait to work through this kit with you have a wonderful day bye